In today's show, I'm covering a paper describing how the hormone kiss peptin modulates sexual and emotional brain processing. I asked Matt Wall, one of the study co-authors, about the origins of kiss peptin and its unusual name. Kiss peptin is a peptide hormone. It was discovered in the late 90s and it was first thought to play a role in cancer. It was discovered in a town called Hershey, Pennsylvania, uh, where there's also a massive factory where they make Her Hershey's chocolates, and particularly the little chocolates they call Hershey's Kisses, hence the name Kiss Peptin. And it was only later it was found that it had a, a big role to play as a sex hormone, uh, particularly in puberty. So it's, it's the hormone that starts off the whole cascade of uh, other hormones that you get uh, that kick off puberty. So rats that don't have the Kiss Peptin gene don't go through puberty and they stay sexually immature. So uh, the people that named it originally, even though they didn't know it at the time, they gave it an incredibly appropriate name. In this fMRI study, 29 healthy heterosexual men were administered either kisspeptin or placebo intravenously in separate visits to better understand kisspeptin's effects on neural activity. Here's Matt again. And what we did was we showed people a lot of different emotional pictures. Some were sexual, romantic, uh, positive or negative, different facial expressions. Um, and we found that kisspeptin uh, enhanced activity in certain regions of the brain that are known to be related to emotional processing, like the amygdala, other bits of the limbic system the anterior cingulate and uh, but specifically in relation to the sexual and romantic images nothing else so what we think is that kispeptin uh, serves as a link between the brain systems that are uh, processing emotional sexual love related uh, information and the rest of the bodily reproductive system an important question with peripherally administered peptides is whether they actually reach the brain as the blood brain barrier often prevents molecules from entering the brain compartment it's possible to administer a medication and see changes in brain activity, but this doesn't necessarily mean that it's directly acting in the brain. Perhaps the peptide has an indirect effect on the brain via the activation of peripheral receptors. To test this, the study authors administered radio-labeled kispeptin peripherally to male mice. They found increased levels of radioactivity in various areas of the brain, suggesting that these brain imaging effects were probably due to direct action in the brain, which is known to contain kispeptin receptors. Of course, these results need to be replicated in humans, but observing this in mice is a great start. This study helps open the door for kispeptin's development as a treatment for reproductive dysfunction. Although researchers have already demonstrated its role in non-human mammalian reproduction, this is the first study to demonstrate that kispeptin can influence the neural processing of reproduction-related images in humans. That's all for today. Remember to subscribe to the show so that you don't miss the next episode. Check the show notes for info from today's episode, including a link to this open access paper and how to find Matt online. Bye for now.